everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The half of three amigos are back in this bitch. Uh, Pops is behind the camera, but he did buy one thing. Yeah, he did buy one thing, so that's why he, he said fuck it. Yeah. He's, just, he's gonna do the goddamn bring it on spirit fingers. <laughs> uh, but uh, we actually went uh, in Radcliffe um, to a uh, thrift store. Uh, yes, we've hit up before, and we, we always don't find nothing there. You know, if we do find something, it's one or two items yeah. at the most. We don't usually find a lot there. Yeah, but for some odd reason, we found a lot of shit there. There, there was quite a bit of stuff this time. Uh, yeah, like like I said, most of the time we won't we only find maybe one or two we, items. Before uh, we get started, can I tell the story here? Yeah. At first, when I saw this uh, store, okay, old uh. Old uh, neck beard over here didn't want to go. <laughs> Better than your crappy beard. Fuck my beard. But anyway, we went there and... Uh, I'm just out true. You yeah, didn't want to go. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we pulled up and I was like, eh. Because most of the time when we do go in there, uh, we get disappointed because it's either the games are missing, uh, the discs are fucked up, or um, there's just not much there. Uh, which, by the way, there is a clip, a short clip in the yeah. in the beginning of this video. Some people might see it. Uh, there was a Simpsons hit and run for the PS2. Yes. Looking back, we probably should have bought it. Yeah, looking back, but yeah. But the disc was really messed up. And I was thinking it. about getting it. Yeah, Tommy was thinking about getting Until it. Until I saw the quality of the disc. But the disc who was in rough, I, I was, really I rough was afraid condition. even if I get that resurfaced, it might not work. Yeah, it might not work. Um, but we ended up picking up a few good things here. Uh, but what are we gonna, uh, uh, Pops, you wanna show what you got first? Yeah, go ahead, Coach. Uh, you want, you want me to show what you're talking about real yeah, fast? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, this right here it's is the, the greatest hits of the Bentley Brothers. Greatest hits. First of all, let me say this right here. Volume one. If, if you're going to get a, a CD, make sure it says the greatest hits because there it show it, it, they got their best songs on the greatest hits. And make sure when you buy a CD, look at the goddamn thing. That was my mistake one day. And make sure that it's there. Yeah, make sure yeah. it's there too. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, Damn, right. Pops, good condition. Uh, any, any good songs of the Bellamy Brothers? Uh, 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 every, every one of them's good. Well, can you name one that you like the uh, most? Uh, the, the, one, the, one, the one I like, like the most is... Uh, uh, if if I, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that one's on here. Yeah, and uh, and uh, there's, there's how about Sugar Daddy? Sugar Daddy's a good one, sugar cause everybody daddy. needs a sugar daddy. <laughs> but uh, pops, uh, pops seen this at the at the store, and he wanted to pick it up. Uh, you know, pops, he always buys them old fucking CDs. Yeah, uh, average eBay price six bucks. Yeah. Now, uh. We'll talk about what we got for yeah. everything for him here in a little bit, but that's what Pops picked up. Uh, decent score on that. Yep. You damn right. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys a few things that I picked up real fast. Um, first game I got, which is for the PS3, it is Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Um... I haven't really played any of the Uncharted games, but uh, for the price that I got this for, I was like, I'll try it out. Uh, and plus, uh, you know, my PS3 is pretty lacking as far as game-wise. Yeah. I don't have a lot of PS3 games. Uh, I mean, I got a good 30 or I so. I know my goddamn PS3 games are stocking up. <laughs> uh, it is complete uh, with the manual and uh, some... Uh, thing here. Now I'm pretty sure you can't use this anymore. Probably not. Yeah. It's probably already used. Used or uh, probably invalid by now. But well, I, code. I, My PS3 games are loaded. And uh, yeah. Complete. And in, uh, in decent condition. So I said sure why not. Uh, complete Uncharted 3. Um, and by the way, uh, you'll see some price stickers on these. Ignore the prices. Uh, yeah, we'll tell you the prices here in a minute. Yeah, we'll tell you the prices here in a minute, even though it does say $3 on it. Uh, I didn't pay $3 for it. So, um, yeah, uh, the average eBay price for Uncharted 3, uh, 6 bucks. So, pretty good. 
Uh, this game, uh, even though the case is pretty fucking trashed, uh, I will have to replace this case. Because uh, it is broken. Uh, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's broken and everything. But I, I do got replacement cases. Yeah. So uh, really ain't no, no we deal. replacement cases, but I can always put it in a black case. So it's no big deal. It's not, it's not a big deal, but uh, for the Wii, it is ABC Wipeout Create and Crash. Um, it was there, and when we were going through, we were looking at some of the lower end stuff, because there was a few things that were just a tad bit high. Yeah. Uh, and this actually had a dollar on it. <laughs> And I was like, fuck oh, yeah. yeah. He made sure to pick that up for uh, a dollar. Yeah, I made sure I'm going to pick it up for a dollar. Unf uh, the weird thing is, is the case is messed up, but the disc is actually in pretty yeah. good condition. So uh, as long as the disc is in good condition, you're in pretty good condition. So um, yeah, uh, case is all fucked up though, but I can replace the case. No big Maybe deal. Maybe the game was inside the Wii and somebody just beat the hell out of the case. Could have been. Maybe, maybe they were losing, so they tossed the motherfucker towards the wall. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, Wipeout, uh, Create and Crash, uh, sold on eBay for eight bucks. So, yeah, I mean, a uh, dollar is probably how much I actually did pay for this, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next game, which, uh, this just seems interesting to me. Uh, for the PS3, it's, uh, Motor Storm. I don't know, I like these kind of games, uh, where you're on dirt bikes and ATVs and... Uh, this this year even in like um, like uh, big rigs yeah. and fucking big trucks and stuff and you're out in the desert and dirt and shit. I I like these kind of games. I, I really do. So survive off road. It is complete. The case is broken as well. But again, uh, you can get another. Case. But I I do got replacement cases. And the weird thing about this is for some odd reason <laughs> there's two manuals. It's the same manual, but I got two manuals. Yeah. I didn't notice this until until we brought it home, but uh, uh, for some odd reason, there's two manuals for it. But uh, same manual, same everything. It's just there's two of them for some reason. Um, uh, and uh, disc is in pretty good condition. So I said, sure, why not? Uh, I like these kind of games. Uh, price tag does say $5 on it, but of course we didn't pay $5 for it. We'll let you know what we paid uh, for all this um, stuff. Average, average eBay price for MotorStorm, uh, eight bucks. Yeah. So I was like, Psh, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, snatch that up real fast, and I'll show you guys the last game right here that I picked up. That's uh, uh before we get to the higher end stuff, of yeah. course. Um, uh, you know, ten dollars and above. Uh, I actually picked this up for the PS3. Uh, I have a few Batman games, and uh, I just seen this there, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick this up, see if it's any good. Uh, maybe good, I don't know, I've never played this one. Uh, it is uh, Batman Arkham uh, Origins. So, I have a few, pat a few Batman games, and I enjoy playing them. Uh, they're pretty fun. Even though I'm not really much of a comic or a superhero fan, but I do like playing some of the games. Uh, open it up. It is complete with manual in really good condition. There was two of these there. One was marked for three and one was marked for like five. So I picked up the one that was three dollars, <laughs> of course. Uh, but even though uh, it is complete and everything, so I mean, I don't really see the difference yeah. why they had different prices on them, but they did. Uh, once again, Mark for three, but I got it for cheaper. Yeah. Uh, exclusive downloadable content. You got Nightfall Batman skin, uh, classic, t uh, the classic TV series Batman skin. Pop Pops yep. might get into that. Uh, five map uh, on here and Nightfall pack. So uh, maybe some to use the downloadable content, but uh, I would still enjoy trying this out. Uh, average eBay price for this game. Eight bucks as well on eBay. So, uh, Tommy, what are the few things that you grabbed? Well, some of your, some of your lower end games that you found. Yeah, I picked. I finally picked up a lot of sh a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it right here, right now. And yes, I picked up a lot of shit there, Charles and Marky Mark. I didn't. I didn't fucking see. I went over budget again. Uh, Tommy did go over budget yeah. for this. 
I picked up for the PlayStation 2, Hitman Blood Money. Blood, you got, better have my money. She's going to have my money. You're a shitty goddamn <laughs> WWE thing on yes. one of the goddamn songs. <laughs> better have my money. I ain't got no money. <laughs> Baby, where's my money? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, but uh, I got Hitman Blood Money. PS2, and I did pay $2 for it. I'm going to go ahead and say that. I did not. And then the game I mean, was I mean, cool. I mean, quite possibly you could have. Yeah, probably I could have. I don't know. But uh, the game actually looks pretty cool here on the back. So Have, have you played any of the Hitman games? No, I haven't. So, so I got Hitman here and uh, Blood Money. It's complete. Complete with manual. Yep. And the disc is in pretty decent shape. Mm -hmm. And flip to the back here, I got Kane and Lynch Dead Man Sneak Preview bonus disc. Yeah. So. Has a bonus disc with it. Yeah, it's a was. bonus disc there. So. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Once again, this isn't a, a, a big um, uh, big amount of money for this game. It's only, like, it's only worth like five bucks on eBay. But, of course, for what time I paid for it. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I paid two bucks for it. Who knows? Yeah, you probably paid a little less yeah, for it. Yeah, I think knows? I did pay less. So, uh. We'll tell you about all these prices when we get to it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Hitman Blood Money for the PS2. Check that out. And then, I got another PlayStation 2 game. I have this game. And Big I love Mother it. Truckers, 1999. Remember the goddamn commercial? Yeah. Used to Big, come on Raw? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I picked up Big, Big Mother Truckers. And uh, and I did not pay nine ninety nine for it. Yeah. And hell, I didn't even pay two bucks for it. But, uh, yeah, Big Mother Truckers. And no manual, but I ain't really complaining about that. I, I, I think I have an extra manual yeah. for it. And, uh, but I hate the motherfuckers that complain about shit. Mm -hmm. You know, about dumb shit. Be like you got the disc in the game. Uh, and the disc is in great shape, actually. And, uh, and I enjoy back in the day big mother truckers. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't have it. I'm gonna, I have it. I'm it's a pretty take fun it. game. Yeah. And I'm going to buy it. So I was like, fuck it. So I got uh, big mother big, truckers. Big mother truckers sold on eBay. Uh, averagely for about seven bucks. Yeah, so. so and and I did not pay two dollars. I'm gonna say that right now. But Big Mother Truckers picked that up for the PlayStation Two, and then I picked up for the PlayStation Three, The Evil Within. Yes. And I did not pay seven dollars. Yeah, that one. Uh, there was two of them there. One was marked yeah. for seven, and one was marked for eight. Yeah. Now, if I would have known, I would have picked up the one that yeah. was for eight exactly. Especially for after uh, after we went after to check we out. found out and checked out. Uh, but yeah, the Evil Within, I wanted to check out. They look pretty interesting, and uh, the disc is in really good shape. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to check out Evil Within. Look, it looked pretty good on the K on the back. And it looks like like a scary game. It's so, like a survival horror. So it game. looks pretty pretty and I've been enjoying those type games, so So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll give it a chance. Uh the average eBay price for uh Evil Within uh ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks. So I didn't pay ten bucks, so uh we, let me show them uh one thing that I got here. Alright. Uh, and the weird thing is is uh, I didn't know how much this was until I bought it. But I only bought it, and, and and Tommy laughed at me. He he found out that I only bought it for the for the case. Yeah, you damn right, I laughed. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is for the Nintendo GameCube. It's uh, EA Sports's uh, Tiger Woods P PGA Tour 2004. I only bought this for the case, and you're wondering why the hell did you buy it for the case? But I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, it's marked for three dollars. I didn't pay three dollars, but. Uh, open it up. It is complete though, uh, with uh, all the artwork and everything. Um, but I bought it for the case, so I'm going to take out the manual. I'm going to take out the first disc, which is scratched all the hell, by the way. Uh, the second disc, which is uh, scratched all the hell as well. Uh, I'm not even sure if those will play. I'll probably keep the precautions booklet. Because uh, the game that I'm switching out the case for <laughs> uh, does not have a uh, precautions booklet, which is no big deal. Um, go ahead and put that there, even though it does say PGA Tour. Yeah. <laughs> There's a PGA Tour sticker on it. Well, fuck it. But oh well. Uh, what I'm going to do is recently I got this game as a. Uh, I ordered this off of eBay. 
and it was shipped to me like this for the Nintendo GameCube it's Tales of Symphonia I think I only paid like 16 bucks for this on eBay and it did come in a uh, legit GameCube case but this is the way it, it actually came yeah that's shitty yeah one disc it's a two disc game both discs are here uh, I don't care about the manual that, that much but yeah it was shipped like this and you know I wanted it to be in two disc case so when I found out that this is a two disc case we'll go ahead and put the first disc in and tells us Symphonia it's a good $25 $30 game right now so and the discs are in like I mean like fantastic yeah. condition yeah it's in great shape uh, even though they put it in a shitty case uh, and we will take out the artwork here and we will put it in the PGA Tour. Oh my god, you're right. Those yeah. are not even fucking play. God damn, those are in horrible shape. I only bought it for the case. I'll be completely honest for it, uh, with you. I only bought this for the case. Holy shit. You're right. These are in horrible shape. So, <clears throat> with that being said now, Tales and Symphonia into this case. There you go. So, uh, I'd rather have that in a two-disc case than the PGA Tour. I might, I, I might just trade that PGA Tour in. I don't know. But, I got this. Even though the PGA Tour game, um, it's about a $10 game, but the discs are just so fucking scratched yeah. up. And the main reason why I bought it for so cheap is because I wanted to replace this case. So, now I have a Tales of Symphonia in a two-disc. Because, uh, honestly, these two-disc... Uh, the two mini disc cases are hard to find. Yeah. Unless you find one at a thrift store. Which a, we did. Yeah, which which I did, uh, which is fantastic now. So I only bought it for the case. There you go. <laughs> so, um, and Tommy, what's a what's another game you got there? Well, I picked up for the PlayStation Three Grand Theft Auto. Episodes of Liberty City. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, it's the uh, Lost. It's Can you read it there? Yeah, it's hard to fucking see it. There's, uh, the, there's the, like a sticker. Oh, there. the Lost and Damned yeah. and the Ballad of, of Gay uh, Tony. Of yeah. Gay Tony. Yes. I can read the Ballad of Gay Tony, but the other one I couldn't rarely read. But, uh, but it's the, it, it's, it's the uh, Episodes of Liberty City. Yeah, so... So I picked Grand Theft Auto episodes of Liberty City, and I did not pay five bucks. Yeah. And you know what the cool thing is? It's fucking complete. It actually has the map and the yeah, poster, too. it has the map and the poster. It has everything. It has everything. There's, there's the book. I'll just go ahead and just yep. show you a little bit of this. I don't, I don't want to unfold everything, but, yeah. uh, but it does have the... Uh, Sweet ass uh, uh, map, which the map is on the back, and then they yeah. got the poster on the front. So all all of it's here. So that's pretty cool. So it's in manual, the manual and the poster. Do you like that somebody wrote RT on the disc? Uh, I can I can live with it. <laughs> you can live with it, and especially with the way I paid for the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I can live with it. And uh, yeah, so it came with the insert and the manual, the manual and the poster. And it says RT, but I don't give two fucks about that. And it's the greatest hits. A lot of people complain, oh, it's the greatest hits. Who gives a fuck? And the disc is in great shape. I know people say, oh, man, it's the greatest hits version. Who gives a fuck? Same damn game. Same damn game. So, yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, episodes of Liberty City for the PlayStation 3. The average eBay price for that game, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And we'll tell you about these prices here in a minute. Yeah, because we're on the last games yeah. now. Uh, last games that we picked up was... Uh, this is a game I already have, though. But um, I didn't have it in this case. Yeah. Which is a which is the way I wanted to have it. Now, now I, I, I could just actually sell my other copy if I wanted to. But 
Um, which I might because uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but wrestling games are oh yeah pretty expensive now. They're, yeah, they're, uh, but people are wanting to play them while they're in lockdown and stuff. Uh, for the PlayStation Three, it is SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 um, has a price tag of two bucks on it. So and you did not pay two bucks. Uh, I probably paid two. Yeah, bucks you probably it, did. But uh, it did it does it does include the manual and the disc. Uh, it does have some fingerprints on it, but I can I can yeah. wipe that off, uh, no problem. So a uh, complete copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 sold for. Fifteen dollars. Now, once again, I already got this, but um, this is what I have, though. If I can get it out here, <laughs> mine is in this crappy printed off, yeah, like game store thing. Yeah, it does include the manual and everything, and the disc is there, but it's in this uh, generic. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in this generic uh, case, so I'd rather have. Whoops, <laughs> I'd rather have this than this. Yeah. So, that's why I bought that. But, uh, what, uh, what would you buy? Well, the last game I got was WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Which, uh, I really love that game. That's a, that's a great game. Yeah, this is a really good game. And I have it. But there's a gripe. What do you have? It's in a fucking GameStop, GameStop case. You yeah. gave me the one with the GameStop case. You wanted it? Well, 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 I didn't have it at the time, and now I fucking do. That GameStop case could fucking jump off a cliff for all I fucking care. Uh, but I picked this It's up. a generic printed yeah, I hate GameStop those. case, yes. And fuck it. I got, for the PS3, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. It's complete. Great condition. And the condition is in great shape, just a little dust. Yeah. You know, it's a great shape. The average eBay price for Smash Bros. Raw 2011 also fifteen dollars. Fifteen sold on bucks eBay. for this. So, and I probably paid two bucks for it. But uh, the prices that we have on these games here in store, I would have paid uh, eighteen bucks, and so would it, and so would have Tommy. Yeah. But uh, the lady said because we were grabbing a bunch of stuff, we had yeah. stacks there. She goes. Uh, when you guys come up to ring uh, uh, to check out, uh, I'll give you a discount on that. Yeah. I was like, And see, cool. if that was the case, we would have grabbed more. Yeah, Tommy would have got the hit and run and probably try to get it re yeah. uh, resurfaced, and I probably would have grabbed the other evil yeah. within, but we yeah. didn't know that until we were up there. Until we were up there. there. If I would have known that, the whore hand, I probably would have grabbed it. Tommy, how much did she sell those uh, five games for you for? How much? Nine dollars. Nine bucks. Nine dollars for all this. I'm All this. Like for the Hitman, Blood and Money, for Big Mother Truckers, for e the Evil Within, for Grand Theft Auto Liberty, Store, uh, Liberty City episode, and fucking WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 from PS3. Nine bucks for all of this. And mine, which includes the, uh, the wrestling game, uh, the Tiger Woods that I just <laughs> threw the down case there. For. Yeah, that's one of the case for. Uh, the Batman, uh, let's see, MotorStorm, the Wipeout game, and uh, Uncharted. And I went ahead and grabbed uh, Pops' uh, CD because that, that... It was so cheap. <laughs> it was so cheap, so I, I just added it to my pile. Uh, she has 11 bucks. Yeah. So, uh, on eBay, she Tommy... She was a nice lady. Very nice lady. On eBay, Tommy, we would have spent $108. Oh, yeah. But at... The thrift store, we only spent twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, and 20. you know what? I went over budget. You did go over budget. More than five. Uh, more than five, but it was worth it. Yeah, it was fucking worth it. Total savings of eighty-eight dollars. Hope that Hell you guys. Yeah. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. I know up. T and Q probably were like that saving. You would the king of deals. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Russell Grand Page Two. Follow us on Twitter. At Russell Rampage, you can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better.